my table saw has been making a bearing noise for quite some time and let me turn it on I don't know if you'll actually hear it it doesn't do it all the time sounds nice and smooth right there right at the end as it's slowing down you can, you can kind of hear it a little bit but every now and then when I'm turning it on or turning it off it makes a, a noise that you know is not right and but the, the point of this video is I wanted to show you a way you can diagnose that now I bought these several years ago it's called a mechanics stethoscope and I'll list it in the description in case you're interested in it it's amazing y'all what you can hear with these and I've been trying to diagnose this for a long time because you know if you got a bearing noise on the table saw is it the spindle or is it the motor and you know I really wanted it to be the spindle because that's easier to change out than the motor bearings in my opinion so this is really good at diagnosing that type of thing so I really can't there's no way to let you listen to it but you put these in your ears and you stick this on there and it is loud y'all and all you got to do is give that just a little bit of a turn like that and you can hear those bearings in there are crunchy it's not smooth like it ought to be if you put this on like I put this on the motor which is down in there that you can't hardly get to but I put this right on where the motor bearings are and turned the motor and it's just smooth as it can be so those bearings are fine so this little thing, I don't know, I bought this years ago. It's probably, I don't know, I'll list, list it in the description, but they're probably, I would think, $15, $20 now. And it will diagnose things like that that you just can't figure out. I bought it a long time ago to help me figure out what the noise was on my tractor. Because like when the tractor's running, it's so loud, you can't figure out where is that noise coming from. But if you move this around on the engine or on the alternator or whatever, when you touch the right thing with it, it gets that noise gets really loud, and you can basically like hear. It's basically like you can hear through that structure. So the point of this video was, if you don't have one of these and you you need to diagnose things, these work really good. And one of the reasons that I thought about this, I was watching a video. It's the oh I can't remember. I'll link it in the description. But anyway, he works on small engines, and he was showing how he was using one to diagnose different things, and he was listening to water pipes in his walls and all kinds of stuff with it. But anyway, so just thought this might be interesting or helpful to you. Thank you for watching.